Welcome back, everybody. We're talking more Danny Phantom. Um, I know it's not Danny Phantom month, but I'm stuck in quarantine and don't have much else to do. So I thought it'd be fun to review some more episodes of Danny Phantom. We're going to take on season two. We're going to get to season three. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I just thought it'd be fun to, to watch some more of the show that I really like and uh, talk about the episodes. That's about it. Season two is kind of strange because I'm not entirely sure what the episode order is. My guess is that some of the episodes aired out of order, which happens for a lot of cartoons and stuff. And for most of the episodes, it doesn't really matter what order you watch them in. But there's a few key ones where either there's some kind of plot development or a character is introduced that comes back in a later episode. Um, that it kind of matters a little bit, the order. Um, depending on where you look, there's conflicting info on what the actual proper order of the season is. IMDb lists them in a different order. Wikipedia lists the episodes in a different order. The official DVD release has the episodes completely objectively out of order. And I think part of that is because for some reason, the season is split into not just different discs, but different parts. So you have season two, part one, disc one, and then season two, part two, disc one. And it's like, why? <laughs> why is it like this? We're actually gonna follow the order listed on watch cartoons online because this order seems to make the most sense to me so that's what we're gonna follow sorry if it is wrong <laughs> i don't really know what the <laughs> true order is except for a few key episodes such as the first episode uh, of the season that we're talking about memory blank this one i know for a fact has to be the first episode in the season because it has a key plot element which is that danny gets the logo on his chest and it stays on his chest for the series going forward even appearing in the theme song from now on after this episode this was this is the last one to feature the original danny design in the theme song and there's an in-universe explanation as to how that happens so very briefly the plot of this episode is that desiree the ghost that can grant wishes is back and she grants a bunch of wishes things go wrong danny and sam get into a fight and she wishes that they had never met. Oh yeah, and then because they flash back in this episode, we actually see his origin. We find out that Sam and Tucker were there, which is why they know about his powers. And we see that it was Sam who actually dared Danny to take a look inside the ghost portal. And so she's the reason that he got his powers. So then because she wishes they've never met, it's a wonderful life, blah, blah, blah. Danny doesn't have his powers anymore, and they're not friends. And she sees what it would be like if he didn't have his powers, and oh no, Desiree's up to no good, and they gotta stop her. And that's basically the episode. So the reason that Danny now has a logo on his, on his design, Sam is playing with the idea of designing a logo for Danny. After she wishes that they were never met and Danny loses his powers and stuff, she convinces him to, in order to defeat Desiree, to go into the ghost portal again and get his powers back. But right before he goes in, she slaps the logo on the jumpsuit that he is wearing. And so now the logo becomes incorporated into his outfit and I think the idea is sort of like him becoming a ghost is kind of him dying and so he can only appear in the outfit that he was wearing when he died. <laughs> yeah so now Danny permanently has the Danny Phantom logo on his outfit. Um, and then at the end of the episode they defeat Desiree the same way that they pretty much always do, which is they just wish that um, she goes away and that all their wishes were undone. Basically the plot of Wonder Woman 84. So. I don't know, that's a thing, I guess. It's it's another I, careful what you wish for lesson. But this one's a little bit different because we play with the continuity of the series. We establish some key things about Sam's importance in the franchise, and we set up a new design and the new season for the show. Oh yeah, and then also when Sam's like unwishing everything, she's like really quickly, she's like, and I also wish that Danny kept the logo from the beginning and that we just, you know, that's just how it is from now on. I wish Danny and I had never had that fight. And I wish Danny Tucker and I remembered everything in his costume day the way it is because I really, really like it. So there you go. That's why it's in the theme song from now on. It's just, part of the canon now <laughs> playing a little fast and loose with the continuity but i think it works for this episode and it is at least an explanation for why he has the logo in the theme song which 
depicts its origin and they do it in a way that it still kind of works yeah that's about it that's like kind of the biggest thing that happens in this episode is that danny gets a logo on his outfit <laughs> which normally wouldn't really be that big of a uh, of a change in a series because they wanted to like keep it part of the theme song and part of the lore that his outfit is what he was wearing when he first became a ghost it becomes this overcomplicated thing um but i think it works because they do try to give an explanation for why his design is different they don't just like it's different now so i do appreciate that um and this is just like a really fun episode there's a ton of jokes that are great again a lot of fun character interactions pauline invites them to a party at one point because she wants to meet the ghost boy and for some reason uh, Danny and his friends are always around whenever the ghost boy shows up. Sam wants to go to a movie that's about Terminator, Femalian, and Nightmarica, who are all fighting, and they're all just female versions of the Predator, uh, Terminator, and uh, Freddy Krueger, which sounds awesome. I want to see that movie. That's in this episode so that Desiree can make them come to life and Danny has to fight them. Fun concept. This episode does a really good job of paying attention to the continuity there's multiple references to pr uh, adventures they went on in previous episodes um there's a scene where sam's trying to show danny how they're friends even though he doesn't remember her and she's showing him her notebook and she has like all these different photos of them hanging out one of the photos is from the episode with the gorilla uh, where it's danny and tucker cuddling which is funny because gay but a good callback nonetheless we see the specter deflector again which i think we've seen before which is why sam remembers everything but no one else does there's a moment where danny accidentally f falls through the floor because once he gets his powers back he again doesn't really know how to use them um and he's like why is there all this meat here which is a, i believe a reference to the the first episode with the meat and the lunch lady and stuff and i think the idea here is that because danny's never activated the ghost portal None of the ghosts have, have come to the town, so no one's familiar with ghosts um, in this version of the timeline, unlike how they normally are, except for Desiree, because I guess she caused this to happen, so things are different for everyone else, but not for her. Which is an interesting idea, and I kind of wish that the episode uh, spent a little more time exploring this sort of alternate reality where Danny never became a ghost boy. So I think I would have liked to see the, the shift happen a little earlier, in the episode and i think it would be more fun to explore some of the differences like we don't really see much of danny's family this episode it would have been kind of nice to see a little more of them but in any case we get a lot of great moments with dash paulina all the characters at school sometimes i forget how funny this show could be this episode has a lot of great moments you know what i'd wish for extra arms to catch more footballs and it's just like a fun episode overall that's about it that's that's kind of all i have to say for this episode it's, it's pretty good and it, it remembers the continuity of the show and plays with it and sort of sets up a new status quo for the rest of the series i give this episode five danny phantoms out of see you next time on the show where we watch the next episode and yeah that's about it so subscribe i guess if you want to see more of these videos See you, see you next time. <laughs>